Whether you're just out for a casual trail ride, or you're hitting jumps at your local bike park, my guess is you had to transport your bike there. So today, we're going to be talking about all of the different kind of bike racks out there. Short racks, tall racks, skinny racks, and big racks. I mean, uh, big racks. And if you don't choose the proper rack, it could end up costing you in the end. About three months ago, we took a 730 mile trip to the coast of California, where we're currently residing, packed up all of our belongings, and moved there. We had a little issue with our bike rack on the way, but I think it was user error, as it only happened to one bike. Choosing the right bike rack can be confusing, so let's clear the air a little bit. The first step is easy. Decide whether you want a trailer hitch rack, a bumper rack, a roof rack, or a tailgate pad. Choosing one should be simple, based on what vehicle you drive. My experience with trunk racks are not very good. They scratch the paint, and tend to even dent it if you're not careful. I can't say the same for this trailer hitch rack though. It tightens down just like this by a bolt. And once you get it tightened down, it secures to your vehicle with this locking pin. This particular rack has proven itself pretty damn durable, and sturdy, even up against this thief trying to get into our trailer. Trailer hitch racks are all very similar, offering the same features. This one has a tilt feature, and then you simply just pull up the center bar. This is what holds the bikes in place by the frame. I don't think I need to explain how to load the bikes up, but just in case, you push these center bars down onto the frame, and then you strap the wheels down with the provided straps. And really, it's the same process with the second bike. Just know that you have to mount them opposite of each other. This next feature is one of my favorite features of this rack. It locks, so it secures your bike to the rack, so you can go in and grab a beer or do whatever after your ride. As I said before, this rack has a tilt feature. It leans the bikes back, so that way you can still open your SUV tailgate. It's hard to demonstrate on this trailer, but I think you get the point. Leaning the bikes back allows you to unload and load things into the back of your car without taking your bikes back off of the rack. It's a useful feature. I can't speak much on the different types of bike racks out there, but that's where you come in. Now listen very close to the next step. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. In order to make part two of this video work, I need video submissions from you guys. All right, now hear me out. It's very, very simple. I need 30 seconds to a minute of a video of you reviewing either your trunk bike rack or your roof bike rack or your tailgate pad. I'm going to accept three video submissions out of all of the video submissions that I get and it will go on next week's episode, part two of choosing a bike rack. Now here's how you're going to upload it. You're going to upload it to your Google Drive. Okay, you're going to take your Google Drive link and then you're going to message out here Pedalin's Facebook page and I've provided that link below to you. Rewind about 45 seconds and listen to the instructions again. It's not very complicated, but I do need your guys' help. So if you wanna help support the channel, please submit your video and I'll use it in next week's part two of this video series. I'll see you guys on next week's episode. Peace out.